Hi, I'm Donna Wolf from Nastasia.com. Today, I'll show you how to make this 3D rose flower with leaves. You can use it as a corsage or in a bouquet. I'm using 30 yards of worsted weight scrap yarn and a size G crochet hook. To begin, chain 62. Skip the first chain and single crochet in the next chain from the hook. Chain 2. Skip a chain, then make one double crochet in the next two stitches. Chain 2. Skip a chain and make a single crochet. This is the foundation for one petal. We'll continue making more petal foundations. Chain 2. Skip a chain. Then make one double crochet in the next two chains. Chain 2. Skip a chain, then make a single crochet. And there is the second petal's foundation. I'll do this one more time. Chain 2. Skip a chain. Make one double crochet in the next two chains. Chain 2. Skip a chain. Then single crochet. You'll continue this across the row. And if you've done this correctly, you'll place the last single crochet in the very last chain. Here is what row 1 looks like. As we move on to row 2, we'll start with the chain 1 and turn your work. Single crochet in the single crochet. Chain 3 this time. It's just a little change from the previous row. In between the two double crochet from the previous row, make two double crochet stitches. One and two. Then chain three. And single crochet on the top of the previous single crochet. And we'll repeat. Chain three. In between the two double crochet from the previous row, make two double crochet stitches. Then chain three. And single crochet on the top of the previous single crochet. You can see the middle section of both of these petals starting to form. Continue with this pattern across the row. At the end, you'll place the last single crochet in the last single crochet. Here's what row 2 looks like. Moving on to row 3 now. Chain 1 and turn. As before, single crochet in the first single crochet. This time, in between the previous two double crochet stitches, we're going to do the top part of the petals. This consists of four double crochet stitches. One, Two, three, and four. A pico, which is a chain three, then slip stitch to the first chain, and then make four more double crochet stitches all in that same space. One, two, three, and four. Then single crochet in the single crochet. We'll move on to the next petal now. As before, in between the two double crochet stitches of the previous row, start off with the four double crochet stitches. One, two, three, and four. Then make a pico, which is a chain three, and slip stitch to the first chain. And then finally, all in the same space, make four more double crochet stitches. One, two, three, and four. And then single crochet in the single crochet. Here is the second completed petal. 
You'll continue with this pattern of four double crochet, pico, four double crochet for each petal, with single crochet stitches in between. Fasten off at the end and cut about a 12 inch tail for sewing. Start at the end that doesn't have tail ends and roll along the bottom edge. You might find you prefer having that third row's front side facing you, like I did, or try turning it over to see the third row's wrong side facing you before you roll. The petals will have a slightly different appearance depending upon which side faces you when you are rolling the flower. Once the flower has been rolled, take your 12 inch tail end for sewing and thread a yarn needle. Then take the needle and sew through all of the layers along the bottom edge from one side of the flower to the other side. This helps keep the flower together. Then I usually turn it slightly and take at least another stitch from one side to the other to fully secure the flower. If you would like to add some leaves, start with some green yarn and a chain nine. Skip the first chain and make a single crochet in the next chain. In the next, a half double crochet. Make one double crochet in each of the next four chains. One, two, three, and four. Next, a half double crochet. And finally, in the last chain, a single crochet. Then we'll make another single crochet in the corner in the same space. Pivot your work to work on the other side of the chain. Single crochet in the first chain, half double crochet in the next one. Then we'll do that one double crochet in the next four stitches again. Two, three, and four. A half double crochet in the next. And finally, a single crochet in the last stitch. Slip stitch to the first stitch to finish the leaf. Depending upon what you are making, you can either sew or hot glue the leaves onto the flower. I like to take a floral stick and hot glue the flower and leaves onto it. And that's how I crochet a rose flower. Thanks so much for watching my video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified of new videos from me each week. And if you liked the video you just watched, be sure to check out my next video, which I think you'll like very much.